This is London. For years, England has been world-renowned for its pageantry, its traditions, its old-world charm. But now, in 1965, comes a new sound, a sound that has swept the four corners of the globe. Baby's good to me, you know she's happy as can be, you know she's so Yes, the Liverpool sound, the sound of today's swinging UK, the sound the whole world wants to hear. And this is the only radio station that brings you the true blue sounds of England, 1965. <laughs> Swinging UK brings you the sounds and the scene of Tin Pan Alley, London West One, as it happens. And the man with all the gen, John Benson. And this is John Benson about to bring you the top scene, the pop scene, the news as it is in Chang Cross Road, London W1. We are about to bring you, for the next hour, the top 20 British records as they stand in the London charts this week, which will include, of course, one or two American uh, numbers too. We'll uh, keep you posted with those as we go along, but we're going to play you the top English ones uh, in just a minute. Wonderful Radio London. And number 26, number 26 on the London charts. This week is those kinky kinks from London Town. You want to know what kinky means in English? Well, we'll tell you after you've heard number 26 all of the day and all of the night. Number 26 in the London charts, the kinks with all the day and all of the night. And I'll tell you what kinky means in English. It means you're a little bit strange, a little bit odd. So if you're nutty over there, you're kinky in England. OK, and here's a little more, Jen. Uh, one of the kinks just got married. The leader, in fact, Ray Davis. He's age 19. He just got married a couple of weeks ago, and one of the members of the group was the best man. Another bit of Jen, they're going to be on Shindig in the States quite soon. You see, all the Jen comes from uh, this show. <laughs> They begin with the beans, coffee beans, coffee beans, coffee beans. When they're making Maxwell House, they take the fresh coffee beans, only fresh coffee beans. To make wonderful Maxwell House. Look inside the jar, it's a rich, fresh brown, but there's coffee pot freshness all the way down. Yes, there's coffee pot freshness in every cup of Maxwell House. Yeah, I could do it with the drop, too, actually, because it's uh, five minutes past 11 o'clock here in London. I'm just about coffee time. And they say the temperature outside is 29, which is three degrees below. A little bit chilly in anybody's language. Uh, this is number 25 in the uh, London charts coming up now. It could be the start of something big, because it's the return of the big band sounds. The sounds orchestral. Orchestral number 25 in the London charts. Cast your fate to the wind. And by the way, cast your fate with us right now, right here. Wonderful Radio London. Yes, this is the station that brings you all the gin from the London scene. The hit at the top of the charts with a little number called Walk Away. Throw your life away. 
life that I could share for just a day. We should have met some years ago. For your sake, I say, walk away, just go. Walk away and live. Ex London bus driver Matt Monroe. Uh, with Walk Away, and uh, they tell me now he drives a Jaguar, and he, uh, if he makes any more records like this, I shouldn't be surprised if he drives one or two more. He's known in this business over here as Mr. Quality. Any more records like this, well, you'll know the reason why. Don't forget my fruit gums, Mum. I just love those fruit gums, Mum. Prop and spies a tube of fruit gums, gums that last all day. Bring me home some fruit gums, Mum. All my pals like fruit gums, Mum. Round trees, fruit gums last the longest. That's why we all say, don't forget the fruit gums, Mum. Hey, you just do that. You remember those fruit gums. And remember, too, uh, the station you're listening to, the station that you have to write to if you want to know anything about the English scene. This is the one. Wonderful Radio. Have you heard that number 22 is uh, is Julie Rogers, uh, one of the few ladies in the charts, in the English charts at the moment, lovely Julie Rogers, singing a number called Like a Child. Like a child, I need love and tender care. Like a child, need you with me everywhere. Like a child, I can't stand it. If you said goodbye. Lovely Julie Rogers, mother. Pity this isn't television because she's absolutely gorgeous. It's often on TV over here. Julie Rogers, like a child. She used to be a band singer. No, no, no. B A N D singer. Hey, listen to this, too. No, it's not the tea time, tea trolley. It's the uh, chime time. The chime time, uh, the time we'll give you now is 10 minutes past 11 o'clock. And here's uh, another sound of England. The Foghorns, yeah, the Foghorns of the Mersey or of uh, the Thames Estuary. Actually of the Mersey, because you've all heard of the Mersey sound. Uh, we're going to bring you uh, one of the genuine Mersey sounds are, Jerry and the Pacemakers. But remember, they don't all come from Liverpool, the pop singers. A lot of them come from places like Newcastle and London and, well, the south of England too. But Jerry, uh, along with the Beatles, uh, really do come from Liverpool. And his uh, latest uh, disc, number 20 in the English charts, uh, is uh, very typical of the scene as it, as it is at home for Jerry. Ferry across the Mersey. Life goes on day after day. Ferry across the Mersey. The title song from a film that Jerry's just made and is currently being a very successful box office hit here in England. Uh, I like it, you like it, and um, no doubt that they like it over here too, because although it's number 20, it's rising up, up, up here in England. And now, ladies, we're taking you over to a typical Omo household on wash day. Ow! What's the matter, Mummy's little lamb? Where did you put my shirt? Here. What's that? The 
see how my brightness, dear. Ah. Oh. Omo adds brightness to cleanness and whiteness. Oh, there's my shirt. Cool. Ain't it bright? Oh, my washer's not only clean, not only white, but bright. Yeah. Where did the Omo brightness come from, Bobby? It's in every packet of Omo, dear. Ah. He's got a lovely voice. Always bright, bright, brightness. And if you want brightness, this is the show. The show with the sounds of the swinging UK. And this is John Benson. Here's the latest weather word on wonderful radio. Well, we can't give you an exact weather forecast because we haven't got it right now because this is just, as you know, a pilot program. And I can tell you what the temperature is. It's at 30 degrees outside, which is 2 degrees below zero. Very, very chilly in anybody's language. We're going to brighten things up and warm things up, I think, now with number 19 in the English charts. Those mean, moody, magnificent blues. And go now. We've already said... That's a new group to the English scene, the Moody Blues with Go Now. And uh, number 19 with their first record's pretty good going in anybody's language. Are you bondsworthy? And that means, does your nut inspire gasps of admiration from the opposite, dare I say it, sex? No? Then you're not bondsworthy, and you haven't yet used Vaseline hair cream. That's right, Vaseline hair cream. Because only with Vaseline hair cream can you get that smooth, sleek, just combed look. And that's because Vaseline hair cream is moisturized to control your hair the way you want it. And, of course, the way the little darlings want it, too. So pass the Bunsworthy test with flying colors by flying, driving, or just plain walking to your nearest chemist, hairdresser, or grocer tomorrow and buying the junior jar of Vaseline hair cream at one and ninepence or the large jar at two and eightpence. I think a little translation is needed there. A bonce is your head, and on your bonce you wear a tip for a tip for a hat. So remember, when you come over here to England for a little holiday, perhaps next summer, uh, put a tip for on your bonce. And by the way, two and eightpence is two shillings. Two shillings and eightpence. Now, let's see what we've got spinning around on the turntable now. It's Adam Faith at number 17. Number 17, because we're missing 18. Remember, we're only playing the English discs in the English Top 20 as it stands this week. And number 18 is Jim Reeves' There's a Heartache Following Me. So therefore, number 17 is Adam Faith with a message to Martha. See, I told you we got Faith in today's program. If you land in here, you'll see just what I mean. Spread your wings for New Orleans, Kentucky Blue. Biggest names in, in, in the English pop scene. Adam Faith, his real name, by the way, girls, is Terry Nellums, and he's got a really lean, hungry look. This is the kind of gen you get on the swinging UK show. Wonderful 
The Shadows. Now, you've heard of The Shadows before because they've often backed Cliff Richard. Cliff Richard, another big name on the English scene. The Shadows, who often make records on their own, as they have done now, with a number called Genie with a Light Brown Lamp. It's number 16 right now, and The Shadows are playing in pantomime. I'll tell you what pantomime is after we've heard from The Shadows. leading instrumental groups this time on their own knob with Cliff Richard at number 16 in the English charts genie with a light brown lamp well look who's just run into the swinging UK studio it's those kinks from London town come over here boys and have a word with me uh, Ray first of all where do you come from we come from London England mm -hmm. uh, this, this North is a London pardon? North London yeah this is a long way from Liverpool oh yes yeah, nice distance away would you say that you're a genuine cockney no, not really. I'm, I'm a sort of dull suburbanite, you know. Uh-huh. I wouldn't say dull. Um, How did the group start? Uh, well, we started playing art school. We met, you know, and um, it was a giggle at first, and then we started doing it for money, <coughs> semi-professionally. And then we got a manager, signed contracts. And, um, Boys, you're going to America quite soon. Have you got a word for the people in the States? <laughs> uh, yeah. How's it going? You know, um, all the best. Um, hope you're getting on very well. And, uh, I wish I knew where Detroit was. <laughs> well, thank you, boys. And listen, if you want to tell them where Detroit is, and I'm sure you know... Uh, why don't you just write? Write to us. And you know where it is, don't you? Stay with us. Right here. <laughs> Let's get with it right here. This is the place, the swinging UK show, bringing you the top English discs from top to bottom, the top 20 English discs as they are this week. Now, where were we? Last time you played one was number 16, The Shadows, Genie with the Light Brown Lamp. Number 15 is uh, an American one, Pretty Woman with Roy Orbison. Number 14, What Have They Done to the Rain with The Searchers, and that's the one coming up now. The Searchers, uh, another group straight from Liverpool. What Have They Done to the Rain? Just a little rain falling all around the grass lifts its head to the heavenly sound just a little rain just a Searches, what have they done to the rain? Uh, number 14. And listen, we've got some more jam coming up on the Swinging UK show because in a few minutes' time we've got the Rolling Stones coming in for an exclusive interview. But in the meantime, we're going to play you number 12, which is the uh, position of the Stones in the charts this week. We're going to miss number 13 because number 13 over here is Elvis doing Blue Christmas. Uh, Elvis, of course, comes from your side. We're not going to play American discs, it's just the English one. So let's roll on with those Rolling Stones. And that little red rooster comes clucking right in here. Number 12. and Little Red Rooster. And by the way, Mick Jagger of the Stones um, is uh, voted the number one pop singer in the New Musical Express, one of uh, our top English trade papers. So bear in mind, number 12, the Stones and Little Red Rooster. And these are the sounds of the swinging UK. Mm -hmm. 
This is wonderful radio. What do you know? Just walked into the swinging UK studios are just about one of Britain's hottest groups. It's the Rolling Stones. Uh, boys, come over here and introduce yourselves. Bill Wyman. Mick Jagger. Charlie Watts. Keith Richard. How did it all start? I mean, where did you get your first big break together? Well, the first time we ever played together was at a jazz club called The Marquee in, uh, in London, but... Really, where, where things started happening was at Richmond, which is in West London. The last month... You as a group won the Melody Maker uh, National Award poem. Melody Maker, incidentally, is one of our leading music papers in England. You won the uh, poll as the number one group in this country over the Beatles. Now, uh, Keith, what are you going to say about that? It's great, isn't it? <laughs> really, no, it's marvellous, you know. Now, oh, thanks very much, boys and Dee, for dropping in and having a word with us. I think we ought to explain that that crinkling paper was those fish and chips they're eating. They just love fish and chips. Uh, we are pressing on now with that number 11 now. It's Sandy Shaw doing it all again with uh, Girl, Don't Come. Some distant bells that chime in there. You wanna see her? You wanna see her? Oh yeah! So you wait, you wait and wait. Go long come, go long come, go long come. Number eleven. Lovely Sandy Shaw from London Town and Girl Don't Come. You must remember her last big hit, Always Something There to Remind Me. And, by the way, the key to her success must be that she's got the same manager as Adam Faith. Another lucky man here, too, because I've got one of uh, Britain's lady disc jockeys sitting right next to me on my right here, on my left, on my left, I'm going out of my mind. Her name is Dee Shanderry. Dee, where do you come from? I come from London as well. Where were you born? I was born in a castle in Oxfordshire. In a castle? Mm. A genuine castle? It's a genuine castle, yes. When was the castle first built? I don't know. I wasn't there. I was born later. What sort of period was it? Um, I mean, has it got sort of fortresses and turrets and things like that? I can't really remember. I was very young at the time, you know, when I was there. That's understandable. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. uh, you're an expert on, 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 the, uh, on all the pop phrases, too, mm -hmm. aren't you? As a matter of fact, that dress you're wearing looks a bit kinky. Is there some sort of reason for wearing these, uh, this all-black outfit? Yes, I have to have a gimmick. Everybody has to have a gimmick, is it? And mm. my gimmick is that I wear black, and I'm called the girl in black. Mm -hmm. Everything's oh. black. Mm -hmm. Well, within reason, you know. <laughs> Indeed, that's a very good reason, actually. Um, these are expressions, you know, these, these expressions that are very current with the kids over here now. Mm. Um, give me one or two. Um, well, the ones that the Beatles make popular are really the best, and the one which they say, you know, if something's really great, they call it herbal. Herbal? Herbal, yes. Okay. Mm. And one if more? it's really terrible, it's grotty. Grotty's bad, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, grotty's very one more? bad. Um, well, gear, I think gear everybody knows now. You know, uh -huh. Something's gear, it's the best. All right, well, introduce us now to something herbal. But before you do, remember where you are. You're hearing things. You're hearing things. On wonderful Radio London. And the something herbal I'd like to introduce is the number eight record in the British charts. It's The Bachelors. Appeal to all the girls with no arms can ever hold you. Bachelors with uh, no arms can never hold you. And I got a bit of uh, information here, a little bit of gen. That's another word for information. The Bachelors are about to buy one of the radio pirate ships that are parked off the Thames Estuary at the moment called Radio Invicta. If this kind of thing goes on, commercial radio could actually happen here. Wonderful 
Time, John. Time, time. You're swinging UK time. 16 minutes past 12 o'clock now. And the temperature, they tell me, outside is 34 degrees, which means it's getting warmer. It's getting warmer inside, too, because here's number seven, Cliff Richard. I could easily fall. Oh, 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 oh. If you should tell me that I'll always be the one you'll always love so true. Richard, number seven, and I could easily fall. Uh, you could fall for us, provided, of course, you stay right here with us, right here now. <laughs> Yes, the sounds of the swinging UK, the sounds of the top 20 from England. And uh, here we go with Georgie Fame, uh, who's uh, got tired of the three guitar sound and uh, looked for something different. And my goodness me, he's, uh, he's done it because he's got to number six in the British charts with uh, a little number called Yeah, Yeah. Could be, could be something good. What do you say, Georgie? Fame and fortune? Every evening, with all my days work suit, I put my baby, and let's go watch it with you. I met some movies. She don't seem to do that And then she has me Quite my country with flat And have some supper And let the evening pass by Taking records This sounds a groovy high five I say yeah yeah and That's what I say I say yeah yeah My baby loves me She gets me feeling so fine When she loves me She makes me know that she's mine And when she kisses I feel the fire get hot She never misses She gives it all that she's got And when she asks me If everything is okay I got my answer the only thing I can say, I say yeah, yeah. That's what I say, I say yeah, yeah. We'll play a melody and turn the lights down low, so the knock and see. We gotta do that, we gotta do that. We gotta do that, we gotta do that. And there'll be no one else alive in all the world except you and me. Georgie Fame, Georgie Fame with yeah, yeah. And he comes from Lee in Lancashire. By the way, he thinks the Marvelettes from Detroit, Michigan, are absolutely marvellous. OK, Lee Lancashire, not too far from Liverpool, where the uh, the big sound comes from. This little lady comes from London, but she's gone and married a Frenchman. So she's gone just a little bit further than downtown. She's gone right over there to the south of France. When you're alone and life is making you lonely, you can always go downtown. Number two, Petula Clark, and she's gone downtown. Are we keeping you up with the British Top 20? We are? All right? All right. Este es la estación número una in London, England. Es mi favorita. Wonderful Radio London. Olé! And we've made it. Here we are at number one. Number one. And I suppose it was inevitable.
That's it. I feel fine. Number one in the British top uh, in the British top twenty, and that's the scene as it stands this week. The top twenty records and all the gen from the swinging UK. This is John Benson saying till next time. Cheerio, pip pip, so long.